Welcome to Wood Gas Stove Science. This is Paint Can a Wood Gas Stove Optimization, uh, and it is part eight. So this is the um, part of the series where I'm going to show you how much you can affect uh, your flame quality and um, intensity by adjusting the dampener, dampeners in uh, the fresh air intake side of this uh, wood gas stove science. Uh, so as you saw, I believe in part one or part two of this series, I created a uh, fresh air intake dampener and um, that allowed me to adjust my flame, but I haven't actually used that in the following uh, videos uh, because I have been just looking for a full all out burn and boil tests. Uh, but today I'm actually going to do some cooking and I'm going to show you how much you can affect that flame. Uh, so here you can see uh, I'm adjusting that dampener um, and we're going to measure the flame height on this. Uh, so currently I have the dampener set at about half closed uh, and it takes, a f takes a about a minute for the flame to fully uh, calm back down. But uh, with this set at about half closed, um, you can see that the height of the flame is about one to one and a half inches um, and the intensity is pretty small. Uh, so that's actually probably a very good simmering uh, or warming flame if you're using a pot. Uh, and here you can see that I just opened that up uh, and you can immediately see the flame starting to intensify and um, get, getting a lot thicker and higher. Uh, and then when I move the scale over to the uh, stove and take a look at this. The flames are actually uh, three to four inches above the top of the pot stand. So this is definitely an all out burn uh, for boiling water as fast as possible and getting your griddle up to a uh, very nice high temperature. Uh, so here again, uh, this is a comparison of this same burn that you just saw. Uh, and on the left, you'll see it has a full open uh, fresh air intake. And on the right, it's a half open uh, fresh air intake. And you can see by looking down in the top, uh, on the right, the flame is uh, much calmer, much lower uh, in the pot stand. Um, and, uh, and here from the side, you can definitely see how much higher the flame is coming out of the full open fresh air intake side. Uh, so I, sorry they weren't lined up a little bit better in the video, uh, but that's the best I could go. Uh, so this part of the video is me actually uh, cooking some food. And um, so I know that one cup of, of uh, wood pellets in the stove lasts about 21 to 23 minutes. And I didn't think that was going to be long enough for me to cook a full meal. Uh, so I put in one and a half cups of wood pellets and just a little tiny bit of uh, liquid heat in the yellow bottle. And I started it up in about five to five and a half minutes. The flames were nice and strong. Uh, so I put on my first course. I was uh, heating up water, uh, boiling water, so I could have a cup of tea. Uh, so I did that immediately right out of the gate. Uh, so at this point, it had been burning for about 11 or 12 minutes. Um, so um, now that I have my tea, I'm just uh, melting some butter. I'm going to cook up some eggs. Uh, now eggs are relatively simple to cook as long as your heat isn't too high. Uh, so after boiling the water, <clears throat> I reduce the fresh air intake uh, down to about half throttle. Uh, and you can see it's uh, melting and boiling the butter uh, nicely. Uh, and it's cooking these eggs relatively quickly. But like I said, it's really pretty simple to cook eggs um, as long as you're not too hot. Uh, so anybody can do this. Uh, so usually if I'm camping, um, I won't use sunny side up or, um, or uh, runny eggs. Usually I'll try to cook them all the way through uh, because most of the time um, I don't have really good cooling, so I like to make sure that if they are going a little bit bad in my in my cooler, um, that I don't really get a stomach problem from them. Uh, so you'll see when I flip these over, I'm going to pop the yolks. Uh, but right now they look beautiful. I would love to eat them just the way they are. Uh, you can see I just I just um, closed off the damper a little bit more uh, because it was it was still a little bit hot. Um, I can close it up just a little bit more if I need to, but um, as you can see, I won't need to close that up. Uh, so now that I've popped the yolks, I just let it sit for a few minutes. Um, 
And now that I'm getting ready to start my second um, or my third course. Uh, so here we go. I'm going to just flip these eggs over for the second time um, just to make sure they're all nice and cooked all the way through and the yolk isn't runny at all. Um, now, one thing I forgot on these was my salt and pepper. Uh, they, it sat right there um, on the table next to me and I never used it. So these eggs are probably going to be a little bit bland, um, but I'm sure my next course uh, of the meal is going to be much, much better. Uh, so here we go. Um, it took about five minutes or so to cook, cook these eggs. Uh, now I'm going to start my last course. Uh, as you can see, the flame is nice and low because uh, I have it set at about half throttle. Um, and now I'm going to melt a little bit more butter. And uh, this is at the beginning of the video. I gave you a really quick sneak preview of what I what I cooked for a final uh, meal. I actually dropped some of my shrimp. Um, on my way out to uh, cook, so I only used I only got about half of what I originally had intended. Um, so here we go. I'm cooking some shrimp now. These shrimp are um, previously cooked, um, but they're frozen, so they're about half frozen actually. Uh, so we're cooking something that um, is actually frozen at this point. So it's going to take a few minutes for it to unthaw. Um, there, I just added some spices. Um, and as you can see, uh, there is butter down there, but a, there's a lot of liquid that comes out of these shrimp as they thaw out. Um, so I turn it up the heat just a little bit. Uh, and you can see the reaction of the stove is really pretty quick uh, when you when you change that air. It does take it just a minute uh, for it to equalize. Um, when you put a pot on and take a pot off, uh, you can see that it kind of flux, fluctuates up and down, uh, but it really does stabilize nicely. Um, so from what I've seen in this um, test, and woo, I almost really had a bad, bad situation there. I almost dropped all my shrimp. Uh, so what I've actually seen from this test is you can adjust this stove very nicely to cook different things. Um, I think next weekend I'll probably cook a burger. I don't think I'm going to uh, video it, uh, but I'm going to probably cook some burgers out here and see uh, just how long it takes to cook burgers on this. Um, so these shrimp were fantastic. Uh, as you can see, uh, this is about 23 to 24 minutes in. I still have plenty of fuel left in, in my um, in my stove uh, and plenty of heat and I can turn this all the way up to a wide open throttle and again boil water which you're going to see me do that in just a, just a few minutes. Uh, at this point the shrimp are starting to brown up on the outside. Uh, they're fully heated all the way through uh, and they smell delicious. Um, I'm going to add a few more red pepper flakes um, and a little bit more spices to it and um, now I'm going to get ready to serve myself. As you can see, they are looking fantastic. This, this is probably going to be my last video on the paint can um, stove. I'll probably be starting to look at a, a larger stove. I'm looking at something that will probably hold about four to five cups of pellets um, and something that'll burn a much, much longer time. Um, so it may end up having to have um, a center stack going up the center um, of the of the uh, fuel uh, and there's there's my lunch um, so uh, just just so I can close off that pyrolysis zone uh, so there you saw that I um, finished my lunch off and um, what I what I'm going to do next is add a little bit of water to it put the cover on it uh, put it on full full open damper and uh, boil this water to help clean uh, out my pot. Um, it's it, If I have spare water, I always do this. Um, here you can see it's about 31 minutes and we've got a bo boiling water inside that pot. Um, so like I was saying, uh, this is probably going to be the end of this. If you guys would like a build video with sizes um, and information about how I built this, um, you can leave um, the, um, the comments about what you'd like to see um, because if people would like to know exactly how to build this I would I will do a build video on it 
but if not, I'll probably move on to, um, like I said, a much larger stove. Uh, there's been quite a few people, quite a few subscribers that have asked uh, for larger stoves, and there's been actually one that asked for a smaller stove. Um, so I'm going to explore both of those options, um, and we'll see what what I decide to do for next week's video. So again, uh, thank you again for joining me on these videos. Goodbye.